right. Um, have to make Emmet slob. Uh, Edna really liked him in a suit. If we dirty, just make it dirty, you know. Some girls like it that way. Edna apparently doesn't. Hey, Emmet, I've got a whoa. <laughs> Whoops. Oh what no. What the heck? Oh jeez, I'm sorry. Your, your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong. What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote. So, I spent a few hours whipping up this. Whoa. What was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Damn it, you'll make a fortune. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Um, Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years <laughs> later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. Let's see. You never uh, mess up Emma's suit while he's got that shower of cleanser around. How is Emmett going to clean up himself at the expo? Cleanser that shower. Cleanser doesn't seem very. Portable. It isn't, but this is a perfume bottle. Yes. No, I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth destroying enzymes. Clever. What will we do with the bottle? What the hell is that? What? Sorry, I, I thought I saw a tarantula. Holy. I'd be scared too. So after 12 hours, your cleanser just kind of turns into battery acid? Battery acid? Don't be ridiculous. It merely turns into a brew of cloth-destroying enzymes capable of rotting away any fabric almost instantly. <laughs> battery acid, really? I want to say Do we spray it on a I suits? better not return it yet. I might need oh. it to clean something. If only this stuff was several hours older, I could use it to dissolve Emmett's suit. Several hours older? The only way I could think of doing that is to travel back in time with the other brown with, uh, with the other dock, so which means we have to go back. And this cleanser is good for not cleaning. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Why don't you test it out on something? You've already seen how good it is on motor oil. Proto motor oil. What's proto motor oil? What's. What? What is proto motor oil? Use the cleanser on the first in the hill valley of the pa- Oh, so we need to go back, okay. That makes sense then. I thought we would just find a way to use it here, but apparently not. We just have to travel mm -hmm. back and forth. What? I was just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short. Sometimes brutally so. So why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. No, no, Edna, no, no. No. I'm gonna ask Edna to marry me. Right now. No. Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. And I owe it all to you. You're welcome. Oh, bad idea, Emmett. Oh my god. Hey, Emmett, I've got to go out for a while. 
I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. Especially seeing as we kind of have six hours left. Alright, use it on the hill valley of the past. Expo. Or diorama. Tarzan? Press button to experience Hill Valley's primeval past. Okay, if this dinosaur is called a Tannosaurus, I'm gonna... Oh, <laughs> whew. The fuck, caveman. Furs donated by Lamont's House of Ermin. At least they're going to a good cause. They're stuck tight in this tar. Spray bottle on the fur. It's a good thing I did this before Emmett's 12 hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Can we take it Let's now? Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? Alright, we got the fur, we got the photo album, now we need diamonds of some sort. Cars of the Future 10 Volcano. That volcano looks a lot like the one I did for my 7th grade science fair. Dinosaur. Maybe when Real Doc comes back, we'll take a trip to see a dinosaur. Oh god. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Is the wolf knocking at your door? Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus, king of the ancient lizards. lizards. And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier, like the Hill Valley Tar Pits. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban, reminding you, fur is forever. Oh, I thought fur is murder, but that's PETA, of course. Um, let's talk to Trixie. Give her... Hi, Trix. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Well, it would be fun to watch, but I wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The furs and the diamond? And your friend's photo album? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Good. I'm itching oh, okay. to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. So we can't actually give it to her yet unless we have everything. Uh, what did Emmett say about the lifespan of his cleanser? 12 hours. So, not the 12 hours. Too bad you don't have 12 hours. Or do you? Oh, Doc. Old Doc is schmoozing up current Edna, or younger Edna, rather. Hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. I've got her neutralized for the moment. How's the plan proceeding on your end? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? That yeah, thing. what am I supposed to look for again? A signal that it's done evaluating the time circuits. The analysis can take a while. Be sure let me know when the light turns green, and I'll take her out for another test run. It's about Edna. Don't worry. She's not going anywhere right now. That's good, but... What are you two talking about, anyway? It's a private matter. I promised I'd keep it between us. For the present. Secret. She isn't starting to get under your skin, is she? Heavens no. The memory of her older self wheeling me into the reconditioning chamber is just too strong. The younger version is decidedly more attractive, though. Oh, God, don't. She isn't starting to get under your skin, is she? Oh, wait. Don't worry. On another subject... Less distasteful, I hope. I swiped this from Emmett's, your lab. My it's anti -stick, a... anti-stick, anti-stain formula. I remember it well. I had high hopes for that concoction, until I discovered that it decays into a cloth shredding enzyme after 12 hours. That's what your younger self said. Um... Good news! I think Trixie's gonna go along with my scheme. Pursue whatever strategies you like, but please, 
Don't tell me the details. Dad never told me about a Hill Valley Expo. It was Mayor Thomas's idea. He had visions of Hill Valley becoming a magnet for big investors in the technology sector. But the adventure followed after the third year when the influenza exhibit leaked into the concession stand. <laughs> oh. Influenza. I think I'm starting to get a plan. Good. Tell me. No, no. After all, it's my history we're talking about. All right. If I learn how you're planning on altering it, my resolve may weaken. Um, I guess we'll just take the car out for a spin. We need to get the 12 hours somehow. Doc said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Hey, the light's green. That means Doc could take the DeLorean out again. It's green. Green is always good except when it's your teeth. <laughs> right, cue ball? I see. What I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Yes? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the systems check out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got to run a short air, Miss Strickland. I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. You should take the thingy. <laughs> When did you land this time? Nine hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. Frankly, it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. Still, the time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests and we'll see what we find. Can we take it ourselves? Nope. No green light yet. Hmm. After 12 hours, the cleanser breaks down. If you get too bad, I, well, what happens every time with the cleanser and the DeLorean didn't tell? Okay. I was thinking maybe we just give it to him so that he takes it with him, but we can just sneak it in there as well, I suppose. It'll be safe in there. Alright, that's. It's nope, still red. No green light yet. When will it turn green? Just walk around for a while? How about we talk to Edna? Can I talk to you a minute, Miss Strickland? Surely. Excuse us a moment. It's like this. Oh god, we already talked about all of this. I don't need to That's talk to you. That's all the questions I got. Very well then. Has it turned green? Nope, no green light yet. When does it turn green? Let us just, I don't know. Where do we find a diamond? I guess that's another something I need to look for. Oh, we can talk to Arthur hey, actually. Hey, Mr. G Man. How's <laughs> the uh, undercover operation? If everything goes as planned, we should be wrapping things up real soon now. Well, when it's time for me to play my part. Just say the word. So you're the registration guy for the expo? And chief accountant and paymaster. Hey, you're coming up in the world. And none of it would have happened if I hadn't responded to that subpoena. You haven't met Grand... I mean, Sylvia yet, have you? My contact person? Not yet. Is he or she at the expo? I don't think so, and I'm pretty sure it'll be a she. Keep your eyes open for Sylvia. What should I do when I meet her? Just let nature take its course. Why'd you have to go and fire Trixie? You think I wanted to? It's illegal for me to knowingly hire a Canadian for the job, and I don't want to be in trouble with the law again. Canadians? Why are they so bad? I don't suppose you miss working for Kit Tannen. No sirree, Bob. I don't know how I ever got mixed up with an abusive, gun-toting thug like that. He even stiffed me on overtime pay. Think the Hill Valley Expo will be a success? I don't see why not. Why shouldn't California have its own high-technology center? 
Yeah, there's no... Keep doing what you're doing, Grandpa. ...problem Grandpa. with that at all. Uh, that's our, uh, code name for you. Oh, ha! <laughs> Funny. Code name Grandpa. Come on, DeLorean, you better be green now. Hey, Pling. the light's green. I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Not at all, Mr. Sagan. Take your time. Much obliged, Miss Strickland. Yes? He's really putting the moves Your on Your chronometer's me. gone green again. Excellent. Let's hope this time my test run is a success. I'm sorry to desert you again. Yes, well, you've left me with plenty to think about. Seriously, what the hell are they talking about? By the look of things... Seven hours. I'm this close to identifying the problem. Guess I better crank up the old chronometric analyzer once more. Seven hours. Is that enough? Uh, you've aged Emma's cleanser a little, but it needs more to blah, 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 before it breaks down. Hmm... But it's red oh, now. No Again. green light yet. We need to talk to someone to pass the time. So only seven hours. Who do we talk to? This guy? Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! Front door. Yeah? Oh, when okay. does the expo Not open? Till tonight. Okay. Anybody? Yeah. I got it. Um. I guess. Cue ball? Hey, buddy. Oh, good. He's back. I already talked about what this. What kind too. of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other. It's all Greek to me. Hmm. Stay out of trouble, cue ball. That's what I'm trying to do. Trying to do. I doubt that is sufficient, but we should. I guess we'll just give it a try. If only I came up with the idea of putting the. Holy, where are we walking to? Putting it into the DeLorean earlier. Then we would have been done by now. Hey, the light's green. At least it was enough. Alright, for the third time. Hey, Carl! I'm sorry, Miss Strickland. Call me Edna. Oh, already getting on familiar territory, are we? Your chronometer's gone green again. Ah, time for another test run. Miss Strickland? Go. I shall await your return. Wow. Yeah, any luck this time? Depends what you mean by luck. My arrival time was off again. By how much? Eight hours this time. That's enough. Gave me the chance to take in three showings of Frankenstein. Good movie. A bit implausible from a scientific perspective, but I can see how my younger self would have been mesmerized. What about the DeLorean? Oh, yes. I did get one critical piece of information. The chromium elements in my circuits became unstable during the temporal shift. I should replace them with titanium. Great! Now, titanium. unfortunately, titanium won't become commercially available till the coal process is perfected in nine years. Nine years? But there may be another solution. I'm going to fire up the chronometric analyzer again. Then, while I'm stalling in there, you can... Uh-oh. Where did it go? The lab! You better get down there before she makes the situation impossible. I'll tend to the DeLorean.
aged to perfection. Like wine, or cheese, or what else ages? Hey, Emmett, I'm back. Oh God, what did he do? Public display <clears throat> of a oh no, it's not public. Oh Fuck. my! Can't even catch her on that. You know, I thought you were coming down here to keep Emmett focused on his invention. No, oh, she is. But she's generously scheduled brief canoodling breaks every 45 minutes to keep my mind fresh. Time's up, dear. Let's get back to work. Shall we? Now, Mr. Corleone, what can I do for you? Can I talk to Emmett? It's kind of important. It'll have to wait until later. Emmett's got a lot to do before the expo opens. Isn't that right, darling? You know it, Schnookums. Schnookums? You can talk to him later. Mr. Sagan says he needs to talk to you back at the high school. He does? Whatever for? Um... He says he's got a lead on the speakeasy arsonist. He does, does he? Well, I'm not sure anyone cares about that old story anymore. But I suppose I could spare a few minutes in the service of solving a crime. Will you be alright without me, sweetheart? It'll be tough, but I think I'll muddle through. Try to keep him focused. He's so easily distracted. I'll try. Don't I wish. Well, this is gonna be in the end of this video. Please like and subscribe for more. In the next one we are... What, what do we have to do? Make him a slob. Emmett's cleanser is now seeding stew of clot destroying enzymes. That should mess up his suit. So we did no, we're gonna destroy the next one. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Peace.